What's up, my friends and the viewers of the tube? Today, we're going to be talking about some passive income for your car and how I've been able to really grow a cool little side hustle that you can actually follow along. So, this is what I plan to do for 2023, which is actually building out a car rental fleet of 10 cars and make a cool little six figure business with renting out my car. So, let's get into the juicy, juicy details. Remember to like and subscribe, smash the like button, ring that notification bell and let's go so this is a little gu uh, guide i put together in um a couple days ago actually and this is how much my car made in 2022 and it's not a little it's not bad ten thousand dollars for um doing very little work to be honest making about a $833 a month. And it was just because I used my little Prius and not too bad. Um, I do plan on adding uh, and contacting other people to rent out their cars and split the profits, but I also plan on buying new cars. I actually just bought this car. Uh, well, I'm on the cusp of buying this car. We've had some mix-ups with uh, CarMax and CarFax. Um, I guess CarMax uses Experian and my bank uses CarFax. And from what I understand is, um, it's, it's just a shit show, to, to say the least. Um, I'm trying to really uh, figure out what I can do to uh, change the Carfax, because with the Carfax, it says that the odometer has been rolled back versus the Equifax, it ha said it has not. So who knows, we'll go into details more about that in a later video. But for me, I'm adding a second vehicle, and I've already earned in this year uh, about $500. And if we look at how much this vehicle cost me, and keep in mind, it is only the first, and uh, 300 of it is in the first week. And so if we look at the cost, uh, the monthly payment will be about 380 and the... Uh, Earnings from the car is going to be about 800, 833. If we go on past uh, behavior, so if we take 833 minus to 833 minus 385, we're coming out ahead 448 dollars per car. But that doesn't necessarily mean that. Uh, I'll get that every single month. Obviously, I need to put new tires on some of these cars. Uh, there's maintenance to be done. Sometimes people don't fill up the gas, but I charge them because obviously they're supposed to. And there's other things that can play with that number. But if you have it in a car, like you do it as a business, you obviously get to write those expenses off. So just be mindful about that because uh, not every location is the same and not every car is the same. And so you really need to find out if a vehicle is uh, gonna be performing really well. And so for my car, um, it did, let's go here, uh, 10,000 in last year uh, with 300 or $400, $360 in reimbursements, and I canceled a few trips to extend other people. So that takes into consideration. But I'm buying the exact same car here. This car is uh, the same year, the same color, the same everything that I have with uh, my first car. And so I'm just adding it to the list. And so if I'm making 10,000 from one car, I'm gonna make 20,000 from two cars. And so if I actually, get say like let's just say I have 10 cars they're all making me $833 a month we're getting eight eight thousand three hundred and thirty three from those 10 cars we divide uh, we times that by 12 for 12 months in a year and we're coming out with 99,960 obviously there'll be some other nice little bonuses like with reimbursements or maybe it's just, just a good month um, as you can see with my car here we had some months that were 900 uh, 900 1000 800 so quite a bit over the 833 uh, this was a little bit lower so, i mean i'm seeing most of the months uh, it looks like eight out of 12 months 
was above that 833 mark. Uh, here's was really low, and same with this last uh, in December. So this was only about 600, but even then, even if it's only 600, I'm still cash flowing quite a bit, and someone else is paying down my loan. And just like real estate, I mean, you want other people to pay down your uh, debt service because then obviously it's not coming out of your pocket. Uh, someone else is paying that down. And so with this, I'm going to add uh, a couple of cars. I'm going to be adding, uh, I'm going to add this car, see how it performs. And then I'll probably add different types of cars uh, and get up to 10 cars. I have some other videos if you want to watch them on how I you can use Car Putty uh, to get a line of credit. It's a little bit higher than uh, typical lines of credit or um, typical auto loans. I was able to get, I think, like 4.95% interest on a car loan versus a line of credit was, I believe, 11%. Uh, and also just with with a, I guess, a little bit of a warning, uh, anyone who's thinking of doing this needs to know their risk tolerance. They need to have other income streams coming in to, I guess, protect their uh, debt service because obviously if you have a, uh, a debt and the money is not coming in, say it's not being rented, then you're still responsible for that debt. And if you don't have a business or a job or something that could uh, help with, say for instance, if there's a bad month and it's not covering your debt service, then you're responsible for that. And so uh, it is super important that you understand that. I do have a video, or not a video, but a whole training on step-by-step -step what I plan to do for this uh, little fleet of cars. So if you want that, go ahead and comment down below. I'll send you the median article plus the training that is more in detail on how I plan to do that. But uh, definitely, if that's something you guys are interested in, definitely check it out. Check it out. I've been doing it for quite a bit now, and it's done pretty well. I think it's very easy to do, and it's a great way to make some, oh, it's, it's just an easy side hustle. And if you're lazy like me and want to have other people pay for your assets and build uh, equity in those uh, assets, even though it's a depreciating asset, then and you get great tax, tax um, deductions, then it might be up your alley. Obviously, you want to know if it works where you live. I believe Toro is only in the United States, Australia, Canada, and the UK. So if you're in outside of those countries, then unfortunately it's not going to work for you. But um, I am a, a, I don't know what I am. I'm just me who is teaching people how to make passive income. So if you want that, let me know down below and I'll give you access to that free training. And, you know, if it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, then I'm sorry, but um, it's working for me. And, um, yeah, it's just an easy way to make passive income. So until next time, guys, remember to like and subscribe, smash the like button, ring that notification bell, and I'll give you keep you up to date on my Toro collection because I do have big plans for Toro. And like I said, I do want to make it six figures, then put a little uh, piece of land closer to the airport and set up a whole system, um, and then possibly either loan against that asset or um, possibly exit uh, from that and sell it and then reinvest the profits into another business. So all sorts of... Um, great things for 2023. So I look forward to uh, sharing more with you guys and show you how my journey is going along with Toro and other streams. Uh, if you are someone who likes to make money online, definitely check out our 90 day cash flow challenge. Uh, you can check it out boringpassiveincome.com where we talk about how to build an online recurring income business and uh, really how to set yourself up for life because uh, that's what it's all about is breaking the financial slavery that we're all in. And we do it to ourselves. I mean, to be honest, people, um, they just spend on, uh, 
on recurring things that are not uh, helpful for themselves and they get in over their heads and then they live paycheck to paycheck and I don't want that for you guys. So without further ado, I'm gonna end this video and uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Peace.